Sean Diddy Combs has worked with and been celebrated by some of the biggest names in the music industry and in Hollywood, but all of them have remained silent ever since his homes got raided by Homeland Security. However, two rappers have come forward. Both 50 Cent and Mace are stepping up and Diddy's not gonna like it. Welcome to Popcorn Planet, I am Andy Signor. Think about all the people that Diddy has partied with, been seen with, that are being implicated in some of these civil suits. The list is massive, guys. A lot of people have supported him over the years. And now granted, he's still innocent till proven guilty. There's just a lot of evidence here that is not helping his brand, his PR. So many allegations, so many suits he's settling, serious uh, armed guards coming to his home. All of this is clearly something serious and it needs to be addressed. We need to figure out what's going on and we'll soon see if he is charged. But two rappers who have previously worked with Diddy are coming forward and unleashing on social media, and I wanted to share some of it. Now, we talked about this yesterday. I didn't have the actual tweet then, but 50 Cent started with this. Now, it's not Diddy do it. It's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. I mean, he's not wrong. This has been seen by almost 12 million viewers, and 50 Cent didn't stop there. He's now bringing Jay-Z into it. Anybody seen Jay, LOL? Puff said that uh, he ain't answering his phone. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be answering that phone anytime soon. Here is Jay-Z last reported seen waving at Puffy's jet. Now, again, I don't know if he's trying to implicate Jay-Z's being involved, but Jay-Z and Puffy go way back. They're very intertwined. What did Jay-Z know? Will he step up and speak out? Yet to be seen. Uh, here's more of a 50 cents trolling. What the F is he doing with this fool? Diddy's alleged mule arrested on drug charges during federal agent run-in. I mean, Diddy's kind of implying some things. Yeah, what is this the type of dude you'd expect in Diddy's crew? He looks young. He, I, there's a lot of things we could speculate on, but 50's not stopping. Uh, we got to stop the music, but here's P. Diddy after escaping the raid. Diddy, like FBI, DEA, and Homeland, couldn't catch me. B. L. O. L. Uh, yikes. Yikes. Uh, now here's a very interesting, uh, one, uh, when my, I, I got, I gotta be careful here again. I don't, I can't confirm if this actually was a neighbor leaving his home, but this is somebody in like, what's it looks like a Bentley. Yeah. Snit driving by a, in a drive by snitching in a Bentley is wild, but this guy claims to be his neighbor. Now I want you to hear what he's going to allege here. Cause it's pretty serious. Yeah. Tell us stop bringing all the miners over here late at night. Stop bringing those miners here late at night. I live right next to him. I live next to him. He be like, he be like buses, like big ass buses. You just see all type of shit hop out. Especially at nighttime, like around three o'clock in the morning. It gets wild. I'm his neighbor. When my basketball go over there, I just let it be because I don't want to knock on the door. <laughs> basketball go over. I just let it be. I don't even want to knock on the door. Now, I don't know if that's real. I'm not reporting it as if it's real. Uh, you'd think more would have jumped on this because this seems to be out, but this could have been, but clearly speaking about Diddy, it seems. Uh, and uh, I, I can't confirm or deny. Can someone help me confirm or deny? Did this guy actually pull out of the house next door to Diddy? Because that would make it more credible. It seems like he's in there, but, but this could be people just driving around that block trying to cause uh, chaos or try to go viral on TikTok. Unclear, but he is in a Bentley, so that is what they would drive in that neighborhood. Uh, and now uh, this is going to break records when this drops. This is a documentary series that 50 Cent has been producing. Original series coming true soon. Case Files, did he do it? Uh, did he do it? His documentary is uh, about to break records. He's claiming that, yes, Curtis Jackson, real name, uh, has been uh, teasing this for a little while and announced it in December. But yes, with his G-Unit film and TV, they've confirmed a new documentary to Entertainment Tonight, uh, and it's going to break records. So uh, yeah, I, I, this is, you couldn't ask for a better time to suddenly drop a documentary. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, it continues. Did he before? Yeah, the key is. I can't even, I don't think I can play that one. Uh, but any, regardless, 50 Cent ain't holding back. He's letting loose. And why do these two have such a beef? It's something I was, I was sort of attempting to look a little bit more into. And it just seems like Diddy start, uh, 50 started realizing that he just didn't like some of the things that Diddy was doing. Uh, it's been a tumultuous relationship. And 
uh, 50 has called out a lot of Diddy's transgressions over the years. And it seems like he's also upset based on allegations that maybe he was involved or knew about who, who killed Biggie and more sort of, it seems 50 has been in the know of stuff and 50 has chosen to call out Diddy and uh, sort of play with fire and, and actually expose it rather than just play along. That's the, the take I get. Now, when we go over to Mace, Mace was over on Bad Boy Records. And uh, there's actually footage of him uh, we, I saw here where he like showed up to, uh, when I was trying to explain the sort of fall and the beef, there's like video you can find of him like running up on a radio show to like celebrate, you know, leaving Bad Boy Records and finally having the freedom to do what he wants. And when he did that, he went over to the competitor. He went over to uh, uh, to uh, Snoop Dogg's label. And uh, yeah, th they've been beefing ever since. Uh, but but Mace, now uh, more mature about it, is uh, reacting. As the raid was happening, he, he was enjoying himself, showing reparations are getting close. Before I play that, though, as we react to sort of the more recent re revelation, I wanted to play this earlier clip where he alluded to it earlier in the week. Um, here's Mace responding. They were talking about Kobe and stuff, and he sort of got uh, more introspective. But you always know the right decision because it's the end result that tell you you made the right decision or that wasn't the right decision. You don't know until the end. You will know at the end. Did you make the right decision leaving rap? I did. Everything now that we see playing out was all the things I escaped. The car. Escaped, keyword. The things I escaped. The, the shine. The loan. The Puff Daddy. Craig every, Mac. The Craig Mac. The Biggie Smalls. The Biggie Smalls. So even though I made those decisions and it cost me money, that's why I got with Killer and they gave me the money back. I didn't lose no money. Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> that boy good. That boy good. <laughs> that boy good. <laughs> that boy good. <laughs> Destiny is good. And they followed it and he didn't want to go down the path he's alluding. And so now knowing that that was a few days earlier, here was the raids happening. And here was the reaction the morning after their show that he does with Cameron. Uh, here, uh, hey, how you doing? Killer, I'm doing good, man. Reparations is getting closer and closer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sure to <laughs> give you your percentage. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that money. That's all yours, man. <laughs> I was on the next boat. <laughs> A lot of this stemming from Diddy tried to control him, not give him his, his stuff, wouldn't sell him back his rights to his music was always dicking him around trying to control him even after he let him free. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Closer and closer. Closer huh, man? and closer. Okay. The big yo, payback. Yo, you, this has been the last year has really kind of been the big payback for you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Okay, you kind of, you kind of, uh, last Look week. Look how happy he is. You in destiny. <laughs> yeah. You in destiny. <laughs> You know what? Oh. You know what happened yesterday, right? Yeah, man. That's what I'm trying to say. What, it's going what, crazy. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let you start. What did you see that happen? Oh, yesterday was the anniversary of Biggie Smalls' album. 27 years yeah. later, that's what I see yesterday. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that was real. It's amazing that 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 all of this would transpire on that on that day. It What's is. What's crazy is is yesterday was Biggie Small's 27th anniversary of Life After Death. And it was also the Diplomat Immunity album, 21st anniversary. Mm. Shit, this shit Rep going on. Crazy. Crazy. It's going on, <laughs> man. Yeah, man, I was just saying, this was, that day, oh, yesterday man. was kind of... That's eerie. The morning of the raid. After the raid. Be, yeah, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It was the same yeah, that going was on. Crazy. That's kind of crazy, right. man. I had no idea that, you know, the internet lets you know, because I don't be knowing these dates for my albums or other people's albums, but they will remind you, man. Yeah. That's all you see? In a lot. <laughs> well, that's what I, I see. see. That's what I always I see. I've seen helicopters <laughs> all kinds of right. stuff. Okay. 
They're being careful, but they clearly are preparing. It, again, all of this sort of clearly stems to the fact, and I, I want to bring up this article again because we touched upon it this morning. I really, really think he thought he was untouchable. And a lot of these people, sure, they have beefs with him. Again, we'll see what happens. We still need some you know, real evidence out and charges and stuff to come forward. And I think once that does, the floodgates were, will open. I've seen Aubrey O'Day, who's been a critic of his for a while, and we're going to look into her and some more to really unpack what's happening as we lead up to clearly something. It seems charges are looming. Uh, a lot of these people are just waiting for specific charges to, to come. And I think once that does, all hell's going to break loose for Diddy. So uh, what do you guys think? Are you surprised to see Diddy and, uh, sorry, 50 and Mace uh, make these comments? Who else do you think's next? Uh, who else do you want us to look into? Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for alerts, smash that thumbs up and let it, leave us a comment down below. Again, like I said, I don't think this is stopping. This is only getting started.